Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I always feel weird when I wear my hair in a ponytail, because I feel like you can't see that I have hair, and then I'm just like a floating head. But I promise I have hair, it's just up. In today's Tuesday Review video, we're going to be taking a look at NYX's Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. I actually thought I had reviewed this on my channel at some point already, but apparently I haven't, so we're going to talk about it today. I have mine in the shade Alabaster, which I believe is like the third lightest shade. It says fair with neutral undertones, and uh, it cost about $12, and I got it from Walmart because Walmart now carries NYX. In this tube, you get 0.17 fluid ounces or 5.3 milliliters. Fun fact, I tell you the volume of makeup products all the time, but I have absolutely no concept of... Of volume like I give you these numbers and they're completely arbitrary to me I know that most foundations have a fluid ounce but I have no idea <laughs> what a fluid ounce looks like this particular concealer applicator is similar to the Maybelline age rewind in the sense that it's like the sponge at the end I didn't know that when I first bought it so I should have taken a shot for you the first time I used it but I didn't notice so when you squeeze it the product actually comes up through the little sort of spongy brushy applicator which is definitely different you know it's it's definitely a more unique uh, applicator uh, for better or worse. Taking a quick look at it on the NYX website, like I said, this is the Born to Glow Radiant Concealer, $12 Canadian. Uh, what, is, what does it say? Carefully calibrated to match our Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation, which I have not tried, NYX Professional Makeup Born to Glow Radiant Concealer will give you instantly brighter eyes in a puff. This micro pearl infused radiant concealer covers up blemishes, blurs imperfections, and boosts radiance. Also great as a contour concealer, the built-in puff blender allows for quick, precise, no-fuss application and lets you dab, blend, and beautify on the go. I almost said beautiful eye on the go. What it is, a creamy concealer with buildable medium coverage and a luminous finish in 24 shades. Why do we love it? This illuminating range of 24 shades are perfect matches to our Born to Glow Natural Radiant Foundation. The built-in puff blender makes quick and easy uh, touch-ups a breeze. So what I'm going to say is for the longest time when I was using this concealer, I was putting on way too much. So in the demo here, I'm, I put on way too much. That was also one of the first times I used it. I have learned less is more with this concealer. Um, use much less than that, but I do still find even when I use less, it does like to crease on me unless I sort of use a powder puff and really press it with powder like I have today. This makeup I have actually had on my face for 12 hours at this point, so you know, it still looked decently put together for 12 hours, okay? And it is this concealer under my eyes and it's actually held up re really well today. I've kind of finally gotten the hang of how much of this to use and how much powder. So less is definitely more with this concealer. I personally am not a fan of the sort of spongy applicator. Does it make it kind of fun to apply? Sure. But I just, I always feel like I'm just, I'm just messy when I use it. Like I realize that the doe foot on a doe foot applicator gets messy, but I'm just putting it back in the bottle. Whereas this, every time I open it, I feel like it's goopy. I feel like I'm, I risk squeezing out too much. Like I did the first couple times I use it. Like it just feels like as much as I, I love the idea and the sort of innovation behind the sort of spongy and squeezy tube situation, I feel like it's it's just a little a little more prone to user error than just your standard doe foot applicator, so it can be a little tricky to do that. I will say that formula-wise, this might be one of the most okayest concealers I've ever used. It doesn't have magnificent coverage. It has decent coverage. Um, I don't love it and I don't hate it. It's definitely in the middle, definitely more towards like. Like, I will continue to use this whole tube, whereas I've had many foundations before where I just, I can't even do it. I give it to a sibling or I, I do something else with it. But I will definitely continue to use it. it. You know, I just feel like there are other options that are better. I know I always harp on the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, but that is my favorite concealer. I love it. It doesn't really crease on me when I set it. It has more coverage. This is good, you know, it it has decent coverage. It doesn't have my, you know, I'm not a full coverage girl, but I do have really dark under eyes and I also wear dark makeup. So I would like to try to conceal the dark spots under my eyes that I don't want before I make my eyelids black. And I just don't feel like this gives me as much coverage as I want it to. It does give me nice coverage. And once I set it and I do it properly, it looks nice. It It's just not as nice as I would hope it would be if that makes sense it's not amazing and <laughs> i hate to be so nitpicky but when other brands have cheaper concealers that i like more i feel like 12 dollars is expensive for like i said the world's okayest concealer i don't know i would be interested to try the foundation i feel like the foundation version of this would be awesome took me a long time because i was trying really hard not to swear 
I think the foundation version would be really great, but as a concealer, I just wish it had maybe a little more coverage, especially because I do have such a hard time with it creasing. That being said, I do have very crinkly under eyes for someone my age, like very, very crinkly under eyes, but I, I just wish it gave me a little more, a little more coverage. You know what I mean? If it was a little more coverage, then we'd be okay. NYX always has pretty decent shade ranges, so I don't have a lot of complaints there. There could be a couple more darker shades, I would say, but overall it's not as awful as some other drugstore brands are. But it's just not my favorite. That's really all I can say is like it's like pretty middle of the pretty middle of the line. If you want to try this concealer, I don't think you're not gonna not like it. But I don't think you're gonna love it either. You probably have other concealers you like more. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this Tuesday review video. I hope you liked it. Um, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. And I will see you next time. Bye!